Urban Discipleship Podcast. And what do you think, like, as it relates to uh, the Black church and the need for uh, more more Black scholarship? Like, do you do you see that as something that is that is needful? Um, the the promotion of Black theologians and and uh, biblical thinkers. Do you think that that's something that the black church is in need of, or is that just something, you know, that, uh, do you think it'd be helpful? Just kind of give your thoughts on that. Yeah. I mean, that's a challenging area because I, I think when a question like that is raised black scholarship, there's an underlying assumption. Uh, I think we're really talking about black scholarship among white evangelicals. Okay, so I think black scholarship among the the, the black church has existed. Uh, so you know, there are seminaries and uh, locations where you have scholars, uh, but if you grow up in a certain atmosphere, like my training at Talbot and Master Seminary, you're not exposed to that kind of you're not exposed to black scholars within that space. And so I, I do believe that there needs to be, uh, no, we need to do a better job, but we don't need to, so to speak, sell out and just simply try to be white. Uh, we, we need to contextualize biblical truth to where we're actually located. So unfortunately, uh, the conservative white evangelicals have not tried to push black scholarship. So when I started teaching at the master seminary, kind of my flow after LABTS and getting some training is at the master seminary, I was offered a full night, taught some adjunct and then eventually started teaching there in 1999. Uh, but uh, in most African Americans, if they teach at a in a seminary context, they, they typically put you in pastoral ministry or the, or the preaching department, right? <laughs> preach, you can do pastoral ministry. So it's very rare that I was put in a uh, New Testament department and teaching Greek, etc. So, mm -hmm. uh, and then you know, while I was there, just trying to look at other seminaries. You know, if you saw one more African American in a particular seminary, that you know, that was good. Uh, but if you were to look at the more broader, uh, th you know, theological ed education going on, you could find scholars. Uh, you could find people who knew Greek, who knew Hebrew, who had written, but it was really kind of uh, you know written in a different context and not always written with a high view of scripture, et cetera, et cetera. So it creates a real challenge for black scholarship uh, because you know, where do you fit in? You know, do you fit in uh, with the more liberal perspective or the more conservative perspective? And, and so that's the, the real balance. And to me, that's where the great need is uh, today, not so much filling the white seminaries, but just uh, letting people know that you no, know, there are men and women who know the word and handle the word, and are capable of teaching uh, in these Bible colleges and <laughs> seminaries, etc. But uh, it, there's just not a great emphasis on that, and I think sometimes it's because of the fact that there's such a great need in the church. You know, do you take somebody who knows the word of God, etc., and put them in this space where they don't have anything to do with the African-American church? Or do you say that person focus in on the African-American church, which needs help and needs to be strengthened and needs to be built and educated, et cetera. So it's a, a real challenge. Uh, so you almost have to have these past scholars mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. hard to wear both hats. Mm. Urban Discipleship Podcast.